On a stunning Gold Coast afternoon, the Broadwater becomes the scene of an unfolding horror story. Holidaymakers celebrating the start of 2023 with a joy flight over pristine waters. A treat turned tragedy and bringing confronting scenes that will be hard to forget. Police confirmed the two choppers collided mid-air around 2pm, leaving four dead and three critically injured. Queensland Ambulance Service confirmed it assessed at least 13 people, including children. Initial um, in inquiries would appear that one has been taking off and one has been landing. Police shut down roads and urged people to stay away as rescue paramedics desperately tried to save lives. One of the choppers flipped on impact. Another had its cockpit smashed. I saw uh, the two helicopters just as they were about to crash. One of them from underneath seemed like um, uh, he was came up and hit the bottom of the other one on the top. Just heard this loud bang and uh, just pieces uh, shrapnel flying everywhere. I just heard a big crack and said to my hu husband, what was that noise? This family were on an earlier flight. Probably about 20 minutes, we took my six-year-old, our six-year-old and three-year-old on a spur-of-the-moment helicopter flight. The frightening scene could be seen by holidaymakers. Others watched from the shore, with SeaWorld itself packed with visitors on one of the busiest days of the year. I've seen uh, from uh, jet skis, family boaters, um, mem ordinary members of the public uh, rushing to, uh, to assist these people. One of the helicopters bears the SeaWorld logo. Just broke up into pieces but the cabin section seemed to be all intact. What seemed strange today was that it was so windy and uh, that helicopters were out, you know, and so close together. One airframe uh, has the windscreen uh, removed and it's landed um, safely on the, um, on the island. The other airframe has crashed and it, it was upside down. The area will remain a crash scene for some days as forensic investigators try to piece together what happened. Police say it's still too soon to identify the passengers that lost their lives, but the Australian Transport Safety Bureau has begun an investigation. A report will also be prepared for the coroner. The heartbreaking scenes reminiscent of another fatal SeaWorld crash 32 years ago, when a Bell Long Ranger suddenly plummeted from the sky and crashed into a beach not far from here. At that time, it was the worst helicopter crash in Australian history, killing seven people on board. A day that should be full of happy memories, now marred by loss. Alexandria Utting, ABC News, Gold Coast.